think our infantry are holding, but they are taking a fair amount of casualties. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Excellent. All right, you guys get back here now. Ah, yes. Excellent. Burn. Burn them all. Okay, guys, welcome to the battle. So the main force of the Mongols, well, I, I guess technically it's their reinforcements, but the sizable force of the Mongols is over there, just entering the battlefield. Um, I'm forming up my troops to face them. I couldn't do it before because the, uh, what do you call it? The uh, deployment zone didn't quite extend as far as I would like in this direction, so I had to quickly move them. Once the battle here began, um, let's see, you guys may fire at will once the enemy comes within range, as can you guys, I think. Uh, you know, we'll hold off on them for a bit. Now, the actual regular army of theirs is over here. Not the regular army, the one that I actually attacked, the small force. I was actually tempted to send my cavalry over there and just try and sweep them away. And in fact, I'm so tempted to do so that I'm going to do that. <laughs> the enemy do seem to be walking. Of course, they have a lot of cavalry of their own, so we'll need to hurry up and retreat if it looks like they start rushing us. Because what I'm hoping is that they would come over here and attack me, but I don't know... Well, I mean, they're definitely not doing it right now because it looks like they're going to join up with the main force. But if I eliminate the main force, if I eliminate the main force, what will they do then? And basically, for infantry, they only have archers, but I do believe these more heavily armored looking guys on the left are quite, at least, decent in melee. These guys are quite small in size, and of course, those guys are cavalry archers, so they will actually be a pain in the butt. I think those guys are cavalry archers as well. All right, so. Charge them and hurry because the Mongols may be walking, but um, they are still coming. <laughs> so let's, let's not, let's not delay. Also, I think these guys were the not experienced ones, so we should be able to quickly send them into retreat. Right, they're retreating. Good. They're retreating as well. Very good as well. Right, catch them, catch them, catch them. Okay, good, you can catch them. Right, I don't know if these guys will be caught, though. You guys pull off over here. Oh, get over here. Get over here. No, no. Keep going. Keep going. Go, 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 go. Why aren't you moving? They always do this. Anytime the enemy is really close, they just forget how to pathfind. And so then they just get away because they don't move. Okay, well... Get over here anyways, because we're going to have you attack these cavalry guys from behind here. Basically looking to finish them off very quickly here. Come on, turn around and attack them. Seriously, turn... Attack them. What are you guys doing? Get in there and attack them. Goodness gracious, like... Okay, broken and fighting to the death. All right, time to retreat. Yes, I know we still have, like, cavalry archers and stuff over here, but we have eliminated most of the main force, and I guess that will have to be sufficient.
It could be caught by cavalry archers, of course. My cavalry, I mean, but I'm hoping that they will not be. Um, I think we need to reposition our troops here as well. Because the enemy is now going to be coming from this direction. Let's try and keep these guys up on the hill as much as possible so that they have good firing on those Mongol heavy archers. And you see they're, they're firing at us as we retreat. All right, we're going to have these guys pull off over here. See if we can attack these guys from the rear. Yeah, cavalry, get back over here. Oh, shoot. No, no, no. No. No fire. And actually, you guys stop firing at well. I just realized um, they're actually sending their archers forward quite quickly, and a number of them are out of position here. We should attack them right now. In fact, you guys leave the line there. You guys leave the line here as well. Get over here. Let's see, can the crossbows fire on them? They cannot. That is unfortunate. Okay, this might have been a bad idea. All of you guys get back here. You guys get back here as well. Catapults fire back there. Please tell me my cavalry is actually leaving that engagement. Uh, for the most part, I suppose. All right, crossbows. Fire on those guys there. There we go. Flaming death on the enemy, just as we like it. Okay, crossbowmen fire in the rear. Archers fire in the rear as well. That might be a good show. Oh, they killed one guy. Of course they did. Okay, let's get these spearmen over here, since they're not really participating right now. Get this cavalry over here. These guys are basically dead anyway, so I guess we'll leave them as they are. Oh, that was a good shot. Good couple of shots into the back there. Oh, dear. Turn around, guys. Turn around. Turn around. There are now enemies there. Let's just make sure the catapults are still firing into the back here as much as possible. Hopefully we don't hit our own cavalry very much. Okay, let's see. Let's have these archers fire here. You crossbowmen fire there. I think our infantry are holding, but they are taking a fair amount of casualties. Oh, look at that. Excellent. Excellent. All right, you guys get back here now. Ah, yes, excellent. Burn, burn them all. Only half the enemy force remains. All right, catapults. Actually, everyone who is an archer, stop firing. We are now going to charge into the enemy from the side here. All right, and these are spearmen. Let's see, why don't we have you guys actually go ahead and charge in there. We will have these spearmen attack from behind. You guys get up here and help out. You guys get over here and trap them. That's the bodyguard. So, yes, do not let him go. Do not let him go. Do not let him go. You guys turn around, turn around, turn around, <laughs> being attacked from behind. Spearmen. 
All right, you guys get over here and fight them. You guys get over here and fight them as well. I mean, unless they retreat, in which case just continue charging forward. All right, are you guys... Have you nearly defeated your opponents? I hope so. Oh, Mongol Heavy Lancers, kill them. Oh, I hear withdraw, withdraw. So they apparently are retreating. Right, in that case... Get these guys up here. The cavalry. We lost, actually, most of our cavalry. I can't help but notice. All right, cavalry, get over here. I did give them a lot of work to do, admittedly. Okay, actually, you smaller cavalry units just charge in there and attack them, and we'll have this unit get over here and help you in case you need it. Oh. Can we intercept him? Can we intercept him? I don't know if we killed the general or not. I don't think so. Oh, actually, I think that's him right there. Kill him. Yes! We got him. All right, so we killed the general. Very nice. All right, you two smaller units continue pursuing them. I guess you guys can kind of do whatever. I say smaller units. They're basically all quite small at this point and tired, so I don't even know if they'll be able to catch many of these guys. Still, I really want to see the casualty figures here when we're done, because I think the Manganels are actually going to have made quite a, uh, a good showing of themselves. Okay, you guys attack there. You guys attack there. You guys attack there. What are you guys doing? Okay. Um, you guys can stay there, I suppose. And yes, you guys go get them. Still want to try and catch as many of these guys as we can. If we can. Exhausted, exhausted, exhausted. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, even if they catch them, I'm not sure if they'll be able to necessarily win. Here, you guys peel off to the side here for a second. I have A thought has occurred to me. Okay, no, actually, they're routing. Okay, good. Then you guys kill them. Let's see, we need another weak-ish unit. Well, I guess that's kind of... Well, they, nah, that doesn't look all that weak. Oh, we're almost at the, the end here. Let's grab one of these guys. Oh, they're part of the same unit. Okay, that doesn't matter then. Go get them. Go get them. Okay, they're routing. Good. Those guys are definitely going to get away. Okay. General's bodyguard is ready for orders, so we'll hit them from behind in a moment. Oh, and actually, we need to hit them right now. Oh, no. They're routing. Alright, well, in that case... Make sure, well, I guess we don't need to make sure they'll leave, because they are definitely going to. All right, but we did manage to actually catch a fair number of them before they escaped. So you guys get over here. Sometimes I think having multiple units chasing a unit is uh, actually a problem. Okay, seriously, guys. Get in there. Come on, get in there. Kill, kill. Okay, they're, they're kind of doing it. Not really, but they're kind of doing it. Ah. Well, I guess it was just the one guy who got away. <laughs> Alright, so yes, we lost 581 men. Holy smokes. That is quite a sizable number. Obviously, the enemy lost many more than that. In fact, uh, almost three times, but I don't think quite three times as much. I think, was this, this guy might have been the faction leader, too. Khan Zada. Khan is, I think, the proper title. I don't know what Khan Zada. 
I guess that must be his full title, Kanzada, and then his name is Kidbuka, and then he's the Wrathful. Alright, so now I'm curious. The Manganels. Casualties inflicted. Except, I mean, that unit didn't do very well, but the other two, other three units did. 99, 100, 73. The crossbowmen and the archers did quite well. In fact, uh, individually... Oh, yeah, yeah, actually, no, no. Forget whatever thought I was about to conjure up. That's fine. The sergeants got beaten up quite badly. In fact, I don't think a single one of them killed more than they lost, though it was a near thing in some cases. I think they took a lot of heavy cavalry charges, and even being anti-cavalry units themselves, when you're facing Mongol heavy cavalry, with, you know, tons of experience, I guess it's not surprising that they would get still get beaten up, even if they are, you know, a, a good anti-cavalry unit, cavalry unit themselves. Now, the cavalry did very well. Absolutely slaughtered the enemy, but took lots and lots of casualties. Like, ow, ow, ow. I mean, we relied on them very heavily in this battle, so, you know, that's why. It's not like I'm, con oh, why did they take so many casualties? We know why. But, um, yeah. And actually, got some pretty decent healing among them now that I look at it. Our cavalry corps has not been entirely eliminated. But none of our other casualties really got healed up, so, ow, ow. Ow. All right, well, let's take this back to the campaign map.